Finding the inverse of a function graphically. So for this example, we are going to look at the graphic interpretation of what an inverse means. Okay, so behind me I have a function that is defined solely as two points to keep our life a little bit simple. Okay, so what I want to do is plot these points. So we have the point 2, 4, 2, 4, and we also have the point negative 1, 3. Okay, so rough points right there. Um, and what I want to do with these is find the inverse, okay? So remember, whenever we find the inverse, we just switch our x and our y value. So our inverse then is going to contain the points 4, 2, and the point 3, negative 1. Okay, plotting those as well, we now go over 4, up 2, and over 3, down 1. And basically, what happens whenever we plot the inverses is we reflect everything over this line y equals x, okay? So what that looks like is if you sketch in the line y equals x, which is just a slope of 1 through the origin, every point is, gets reflected or mirrored over that. So this point here just gets flipped over to that. This point here flipped over to that. The easiest way for me to sort of draw these out is to draw perpendicular lines. If you just wanted to find this without finding the actual point, draw perpendicular lines and the distance out is going to be a roughly the same distance to the other point. Okay, so just draw a little per perpendicular segment, flip it over, and that point should end up reflected over the line y equals x. So finding a graph of an inverse function just by flipping over the line y equals x.